Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Parker. Hope everyone is doing well here today. What we're going to be going over is the Season 10 patch notes for Call of Duty Mobile. We're only going to be focusing on the Battle Royale in today's video. If you guys want to go and read this for yourself with the multiplayer stuff, I'll go and link this whole thing in the description down below. But uh, let's go and take a gander. Okay, Battle Royale. This is also my first time going through this new loot box effects the loot box in br will display the corresponding color effects of highest quality item in the box and we believe this will allow players to locate high quality loot more quickly in fierce battles and improve search efficiency so almost in a way is this going to be like apex legends in which if you have gold items for example your whole loot box will then go and be gold i'm assuming that's what it's going and saying here and if so i actually really like that idea y'all could go and let me know in the comments down below what you think about it but i would like to say that this is a pretty big change in terms of like the looting effect because that's definitely going to go and have an effect on me but okay new game mode warfare blackout so that's just the what is it 25 versus 25 or 20 versus 20 they're now going and putting that into blackout but for the most part every single time when i went and uh played warfare it was majority bots so i don't know if they're also changing the uh the matchmaking with that as well or if that's still going to be the case i don't know okay game mode adjustment alcatraz is getting a mechanism adjustment the white and green attachments will no longer be refreshed in this map classes in orange at uh, attachments may appear to be in the third level box and then increase the number of classes and class drivers in the airdrop oh dang that's pretty exciting so all you alcatraz lovers are probably going to go and love that and then finally alcatraz class refresh rotation the classes that can be picked up in alcatraz have been updated the latest rotation list is trap master hacker Altergeist, Refitter, Desperado, which is indeed good, and then Pumped. Nice. Okay, dude. Also, I, I think on tomorrow's video on my Clips channel, I have a pretty exciting announcement here in, in uh, relations to Pumped as well. But okay, other optimization. UI adjustment. Fix the issue that the virtual joystick may be triggered when using the ground deck and tactical equipment roulette okay so i that's just like a joystick fix that they wanted did anything related to that is always a good thing fix the issue that the function to replace attachments when the backpack is full was not available to magnify sight okay we optimized the logic of picking and backpack management advanced accessories that have been replaced will no longer be prioritized in the backpack okay we'll take that and then added a HUD animation when the armor is used. I have no idea what that means, but I, oh man, I don't know. Like COD Mobile will go and add in a lot of useless mechanics into this game. I hope that the animation isn't anything weird, but we'll go and see. Okay, BR battle adjustment. Fix the issue that prevented fire when auto picking up. Okay, that's actually really huge. Because, yeah, when you would be in the process of going and picking up items or if, you're, uh, if your menu was blocked by that, your character wouldn't be able to go and shoot. That's actually something really, really significant there. So that's a massive W. BR map adjustment, optimization of collision, of vegetation in the blackout. Reduce the situation that vehicles and airdrops are stuck in trees. <laughs> okay, nice. Hey, we'll go and take it because, yeah, there has been a, a large amount of times here in which, yes, my vehicle will indeed be stuck in tree and I'm not able to go and do anything about it. Dude, I think there's even a uh, video on this channel of me being stuck uh in a tree with a helicopter okay hey we'll go and take it se adjustment optimize the sound performance when using a kinetic armor overcharger okay so that's just sound 
action optimization optimize the action performance of the wingsuit when players land on the ground so now we go into the balance adjustment here which here shorty even after a round of weakening shorty still has a strong dominance at close range become the only option for secondary weapons so shorty has always never been like that good thing to go and use in br primarily just due to it going and being a secondary but i will go and say this the mw11 they say the 600 ms time to kill of the current version is seriously inconsistent with today's average strength so we increase the close range damage shorten the time or the short range time to kill to 400 ms and the shortest time to kill to 200 ms so dude they went and buffed the mw11 to be honest this is going to go and have a significant effect in the br especially upon people initially spawning into the game because when you land back the mw11 isn't going to be this thing in which oh yeah i'm not going to be able to go and get a kill there's a pretty significant chance that uh if you come back from the revive flight that you're going to be able to go and pop off here so i don't know maybe even like making a custom mw11 might be a good thing to go and do this time around but Going on to Swordfish, 4 Bursts and 5 Bursts put forward higher requirements for the player's aiming ability, and the difficulty of using firearms is relatively high. Therefore, we slightly lower the Burst Interval, increased the mag capacity, and improved the Fault Tolerance Rate during use. Okay, so I don't know if the Swordfish was good in MP, but in BR, it was by far the meta, so it seems like with this nerf, it's not really that significant of a thing to be like yeah you know swordfish it was good now it's bad it's always been bad in my opinion okay type 25 with the change of version even if type 25 is equipped with the stopping reload the close range time to kill doesn't have a significant advantage therefore we have increased its firing rate and damage to the abdomen improved the close combat uh capability and increased the damage of the stopping power reload without affecting the mp's original time to kill therefore increasing its suppression effect decrease the horizontal recoil by 30 and vertical recoil by 20 firing rate oh my god dude okay that's insane and then the damage to the abdomen 24 to 26 and then with the stopping power reload damage from 25 to 28 dang dude holy smokes all right we have man of war adjusted vertical recoil decrease the ads man of war ah, it doesn't seem like it's going to be anything too big mx9 which is crazy so what did they go and nerf the mx9 yes they did base damage 30 now to 25 moving on over to the fhj fhj is the nemesis of score streaks and vehicles we hope it can perform more steadily in the face of most behemoths initial flight speed 30 ms to 60 maximum speed unchanged so they pretty much went and made it a lot faster to go and use which hey i'll go and take it smrs which is huge in the br here so if we go into br direct hit damage in br 300 to 290 which isn't bad whatsoever like smrs is still going to be very op here and then initial flight speed in br 120 to 80 oh dang we're going and continuing on battle royale nova gas the nova gas is changed to only deduct the hp but not the armor and the damage has been adjusted dang that's interesting because if you're planning on going and holding people in the gas then it seems like nova gas you want to go and toss those out and then try to see if you can easily kill people that way because it only does affect their hp the safe zone shrink adjustment postpone the first time safe zone shrinking to slow the early rhythm reduce the damage to hp outside the first three safe zone in blackout and isolated dang i don't know if i'm a big fan of that because to be honest i did like what they had going on with the safe zone but i don't know we'll uh, go and see how that affects gameplay character movement adjustment decreased the swimming speed and increased the ads movement speed in the water ah, i don't bro i'm always not a big fan of when they go and decrease movement but 
We'll have to go and see what that's going to go and be like for match and ranked match optimization. Battle Royale optimized the matching pool division function of BR and smoothed the difficulty of each matching pool. Optimized the display of qualifying time. Now you can see the start and end of season time in the qualifying hall at any time. I don't know if I know what that means, but at least in terms of optimizing the matchmaking, so what, they're probably going to go and make the matchmaking a lot more even. And also, they go and talk about, like, graphic changes here, but one of the more important things to the MEMC setting. At present, MEMC only supports BR mode, and the frame rate is set to max or above. In addition, it only supports some Android phones for the time being, and subsequent versions will gradually become popular. Players can now turn on MEMC in audio and graphic settings. We recommend players who want to experience higher frame rate, but whose device is prone to hear and drop frames can try to enable this option. Dang, dude, that's exciting. But yes, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, that's indeed where I'm wrapping up today's video. My name is Parker. Hopefully y'all will have an awesome rest of your day here today. And I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video.